Hello and welcome to an Empower Servers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload simple voice chat to your server and get it working. So the first thing you want to do is log into the control panel, then click on your server, then head to configuration and advanced. Now we want to install Forge on our server. If you already have Forge installed, obviously don't follow this step. Now Simple Voice Chat also comes for Fabric. You should be able to follow this tutorial for the installation on Fabric as well. The processes are extremely similar. The only differences are the files are called different things and that's it. So you should be able to follow this tutorial. However, I'm gonna be using Forge. So I'm gonna click Forge in the addition. For the version, I'm going to press 1.18.1 since that is the latest version that uh, Simple Voice Chat has been updated for. And then I am going to format my server files. Now, please keep in mind, formatting your files will delete all your server files. If you do not want your server files deleted, don't check this option. Then I'm going to press install different edition. You should hear a little dinging sound and that means the server has been installed. Just to check, you can head to your management file manager and there it is. You wanna start up your server to generate all the files you need. When it asks you to choose a version of Java, pick the latest version, in this case that's Java 17, so I'm gonna press five on my keyboard and press enter, and then the server should start up. Of course, you want to accept the EULA, and then the server is marked as on. Now I'm just gonna do a double check here, go back to the file manager, and as you can see, all the files that we need are there. Now we need to download Simple Voice Chat, I'm gonna get my copy of CurseForge. So we're just gonna to go to files and make sure we have the right version. It's important that you pick the right version based off if you're using Fabric or Forge, and of course your version of Minecraft. Simple Voice Chat has made this very easy. As you can see here, I'm gonna need the Forge 1.18.1 version, and I'm just gonna press download file. Once that's downloaded, head to your file manager on empowerservers.com, head to the mods folder, click on the three dots up here, click on upload and then find the mod in your PC and press open. Once this bar fully fills, that means that the mod has successfully been uploaded. And as you can see, there we go, it's all uploaded. Now we need to restart the server to generate the files the mod needs. Once your server is marked as on, we need to find our allocations. So head to management and allocations. Now I'm going to use this non-primary allocation I've been set here called 7002 and I'm just gonna copy these numbers. If you don't have any more allocations, you can always contact our live chat or Discord support and ask for more ports to be allocated, but in most cases, you will have spare allocations. So once we've got our port, we wanna head back to the file manager and we wanna go into the world folder this time and scroll down till you find server config and then voice chat dash server toml. Now this would be the only place where Forge differs from Fabric here. For Fabric, you'd have to find the folder called config and then voice chat folder. Once in there, you'll see a file called voice chat server.properties. And that is the only way the Fabric and Forge installations differ. So I'm gonna carry on here, go into the voice chat server file, and then we need to find this port here. And now I'm gonna paste my port in I copied earlier and press save. Now there's a few other things you can config in here like the max voice distance and it's all very well explained in the file so I'm sure you won't have any problems configurating this. Make sure you press save file to save the change you made and now once again we need to head to the console and restart our server. And as you can see here in the console it says voice chat server started on port 7002 and that's what you want to see. Now I'm going to hop in game and show you that it's working. This may be difficult as I'm just on my own but hopefully I can show you that the mod is fully working. Now, of course, please don't forget that you will need to have Forge installed on the client side, and you will also need to have simple voice chat mod installed on the client side. And that is for everyone who wants to use your server. So I'm gonna to connect to the server. And as you can see in the bottom left, I've just changed my settings to voice activation so I don't have to push a button. The mod seems to be working perfectly fine. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat, located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.